Meghan Markle here. I'm sorry, I had to share this, but the, I was reading some of the comments, okay? I was reading some of the comments. Okay, this is the Avengers who did this, and then um, Jodiva is responding to it. She took a screenshot of it. Dear Avengers, your Photoshop tricks are hilarious, but uh, even if they look like this big, he'll still rather be her husband than your prince. All right, so there's this. I'll never ridicule Mistress Megan and her cradle robbing whatever but i don't even whatever but there's this here joe you address to them and they are responding at the end of the day reality remains they photoshop no they choose to stack pick to depict her hand they can't accept reality the amount of time they spend on hating why can't they spend the same amount of time to support their faith Okay, correction. He still uses his title. Oh, that thing that was the one that got me because this was a conversation. I went into this. All right, there's this correction. He still uses his title of a prince and wanted his children to have the same. Okay, that's true. But guess what? You don't pay for him or them, and they're not controlled by your media or British royal family. And just remember, Harry is a blood prince. No matter what people say or do, he will still be a blood prince. All right, let's go into that so all of them could share. Okay, they are suing for use of security to be satisfied by officers paid by for taxpayers. Their lawsuit has already cost the taxpayers $300,000. Wrong again. No, 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 no. This is not why Harry uh, is suing. Okay, Harry is suing to say, actually, it's not even suing. It was a review. Why they not allow him to pay for his own security? Okay, using the police officers. And we talk about this a lot on my PYTE. Let's see if the co comment goes here. Okay, he just wants to be able to pay for his own and they, they will not even allow that. That's the thing. He wants to use public resources. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. At first, they cut. They cut that from him. The public resources, they cut that from him. Then he said, you know, I'm going to pay for it. Give them back to me. Okay, the this the, the same way the Fragmore thing was uh, being talked about. Oh, you receiving taxpayers' money? Or you uh to, for, for renovation? He paid for that back, so they could leave him alone. Now they took his security away, and they saying it's private funding, whatever. He said, fine. Okay, you could still take. You don't have to pay for it. I'll pay for it. And this is why uh, this thing is going all up, um, about. Okay, he wants to use public resources for private purpose. These laws exist to protect the people and their interests. Celebrities cannot merely throw cash and use these services at their will. Yes, they have done. What is it? I think Kate Moss, when she was getting married, she used police officers. I think I have the screenshot somewhere. Okay, uh, for her wedding. Okay, this is the same thing Harry's asking. Taking them from the better interest of the whole, it is simply logic. Oh my God, they don't even know the... And, and you don't care about the death threat? Uh, right? <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't. They're suing so they can pay for their own security. Now, why do you suppose the UK is fighting that? If anyone is costing you 300 k it's your own government. That's exactly that. Just give him the thing, and then he'll pay for it. And then everything is done. But they don't even want that. They rather, if it's suing now, I don't know. I haven't heard much about that lately. If it's leading to suing now, Okay, like I said, I don't know. It's the UK's undoing. Because Heavy, this would have stopped a long time ago and said, give me, uh, give him the security that he needs and he pay the money. 
All right, let's see here. False, they have no entitlement to the sec to security whatsoever. It is a breach of interest to public good. The police are not to be used as private security firm by the rich and famous. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. They have. Kate Moss has done it. Okay, I don't care what you think. They're entitled to. They are suing to pay for security. Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, Lizzie, you seem to be awful triggered. Harry is not just rich and famous. He is a descendant of the King of England. So is his family. That is true. All right, I turn. This is not the one I wanted to go through. Okay, this is the one here. Okay, that's true. But guess what? You don't pay for him or them, and they're not controlled by your media. Okay, they are suing for using security. That's that's not the one that I, I want to go to. I went on to that, but let's skip that. Okay, so what? He is a prince. Okay, just goes to show he didn't really love Megan to leave it all behind. What? Okay, he's just left to play polo and and peace and enjoy the California sun. <laughs> this is what they're turning it into. <laughs> This tweet is brought to you by a total effing idiot. <laughs> okay, that's how the monarchy works, birthright. Wait, you you are saying Megan lie on Oprah? What 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 the hell is she talking about? She did not stop relying on the toxic British press. Okay, I have a lot of clarity on what comes with the title, good and bad, and for my experience, a lot of pain. I won't wish pain on my child, but that is the birthright. There it is to them uh that is their birthright to them make a choice about megan marco all right let's read it's a minute and i mean let's listen a minute and 30 seconds 35 seconds but the idea of our son not being safe and also the idea of the first member of color in this family not being titled in the same way that other grandchildren would be you know, the other piece of that conversation is there's a convention, I don't know if it's George V or George VI convention, that when you're the grandchild of the monarch, so when Harry's dad becomes king, automatically Archie and our next baby would become prince or princess or whatever they're going to And she followed through with that. You never hear her say anything about the prince and princesses uh, since this, then um, until the People magazine. Okay, because the queen had passed and Charles is the king now. So now they call their kids uh, Prince Archie and uh, Princess Lady. All right, so it just knows the other ones we're making. I just wanted to point this out. To be. So for you, it's about protection and safety. That's not it. Not so much as what the, what the title means. That's a huge world. piece of it. But, yeah. but I mean, but the. But, but the and the, that having the title gives you the safety and protection. Yeah, but also it's not their right to take it away. Yeah. Right? And so I think even with that convention I'm talking about, while I was pregnant, they said they want to change the convention for Archie. Mm. Well, why? Did you get an answer? No. You still don't have an answer? No. You know, we had heard the world, the, those of us out here reading the things or hearing <coughs> the things, that it was you and Harry who didn't want. Archie to have a prince title. So you, you're telling me that is not true? No, and it's not our decision to make. That is right. Right? Mm -hmm. I, even though I have a lot of clarity on what comes with the titles, good and bad, and from my experience, a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. and I, again, wouldn't wish pain on my child, but that is their birthright to then make a choice about. That's it. Th but I was right in some of my videos. She was fighting what was belong to her children. Right now, her children cannot fight, defend themselves. They don't even know if they're part of royalty. Okay? So she's preserving what belongs to them. Once they get older, okay, they can make the choice for themselves. Okay? So there's this person keeps on coming back again. Haha. -ha. And conveniently, she threw the race card around. For what effect? Delusion or so people like you uh, buy the BS. Oh God, this person. Let's see here. Okay, she just told what happened. Okay, right? Her feeling, uh, I'm telling you, you know what? You just read the nonsense. Oh God, this is another thing within another. Uh, maybe the British press should not have written all the racist headline, especially her exotic DNA thickening the royal blood and maybe the royal family should have put a lid on it obviously you do not care about that though all right so whatever 
uh, why does this yes so what is your problem with Prince Harry and his kids uh, is he taking your money no it's William Charles and the wives okay so that's that oh she came back again I'm sure okay oh damn you had to pay basically one dollar them on your taxes for the royal family get over it okay I, whatever that is let's move on to the next tweet uh, I think now we are into the good one now we did I yeah okay I'm gonna squeeze everything in one because I don't have that much left okay Duke of Sussex declined to respond to royal reporting debate and invite okay this I share on my community board and I'll put the link in the description as well okay show your media buddies this video the UK media landscape is filled with bigotry racism xenophobia misogyny and hate okay it's 56 seconds let's see what this one has to say um, yes yeah, the Express this morning is reporting as other papers are the, the latest trailer from the new section of uh, Harry and Meghan's uh, Netflix documentaries where he's uh, said that the they, whoever they is, but it's the palace of the media, uh, wouldn't tell the truth to protect us, but they would do to protect William. Well, I mean, I, I'm pretty fed up with Harry and Meghan, to be honest with you, and I think um, most people are, and, uh, you know, they could just go away and live their lives. However, however they, having said... <laughs> they have been doing that, but you guys seems to can't leave them alone. They're doing their thing. Harry and Meghan have moved on, lived their life, but these people still poking on to see what they are doing. If they take their own advice, the UK people and the British royal family take their own advice, they'll be fine. Okay, Harry and Meghan have moved on. That there is probably some truth in that, in the sense that the palace, in particular, was very keen to make sure that the heir to the throne yes. uh, was protected, and Harry could be sacrificed if necessary. And actually, when I was working, I <laughs> he's admitting the truth without probably even knowing he's admitting the truth right there. I sacrificed Harry uh, to the media to protect William. Okay, at some point, what about Harry's feeling? Okay, Harry was so immune to. Well, I, I should t start taking this back, not immune to it, because he did not like it. He, I guess he just didn't know how to move away from it. Or <clears throat> because it seems like, from re uh, reading Spare and listening to it, the audio, I have the book now, um, is that uh, he was to the, in the brink of suicidal, because the media, there was no one around him who will actually help support him. And it seems like support him in a sense of make his life somewhat more meaningful brighter have something to look forward to and this is why he respect these women he dated before and uh, he will not want that life for them okay if they marry him because it was very disturbing kind of a lifestyle so when megan come into his life and uh bring a purpose okay and uh, once the tabloid who was doing those things to him starting advancing toward his wife that's when he take action he's like no you're not gonna destroy the only woman that i love since my mother no that's not gonna happen okay so these people should take their own advice leave harry and megan alone let them live their lives and focus on other things there's so many things going on in the uk okay poverty there's william who's even saying i think it was in video one that his mother would be very uh, upset with the amount of homelessness you know his mother have done so much when she was alive what is he doing now so why don't these people report on homelessness and uh, jobs I don't know how the economy is over there not so good but uh, report on that leave Harry and Megan alone but let's continue I shouldn't give the name of the paper but I was doing a piece for one of the nationals writing a piece and I was told, because uh, I'm quite critical of the monarchy in many ways, I was told I could, I could say what I want about Harry and Meghan, but I had to lay off William and Kate. That was the instruction from the editor. So there, I think there was an element of truth in what he says. Um, yes, he yeah, Harry does, there's no reason for Harry to go out of his way to lie about these things, because he's been living these things. Okay, yes, there is a truth in what Harry and Meghan say. I was told as a journalist, I could write anything I like about Harry and Meghan, but lay off William and Kate. But I'm sick of them banging on about it. Maybe some people, when they have been maligned unfairly to the point of suicidal, thought, don't shrug it off. Okay, decline to response is working really hard to make it seem he had an obligation to respond to newspapers he hates and uh, are currently suing. 
uh, it has been like this for years and then he has a uh, audacity to say everyone is pretty fed up i know he's pretty fed up with harry and megan well i'm not but pretty fed up with the, the coverage of harry and megan <laughs> all right let's see here let's go back okay i went into where did i went into oh i went into that Okay, Harry has a court date coming up because he's suing most of their employers for phone hacking. Why on earth will they think he will attend something the people he hates are hosting? Okay, debating. Okay, I didn't read the article. All right. So if I do read the article, this video is going to split into two. Into two. Harry, okay, I read that. Debating with a racist Camilla Tomney is a liar who has written many lies and even threatened them. That bigot can go debate with fellow bigots. Okay? Make no mistake, it's an insult. Fleet Street jury says Megan and Harry are expected no mercy after their stunning decision to go vogue and quit. Alright, so there's that. Alright. Why will they think Harry will want to be part of their corruption, especially when he's heard all he needs to from them? All right, and there's a lot of things happening in the US as well. Because a lot of things have been uncovered and uh uh the Dominion case against uh, Murdoch. So I don't know how Harry's uh, lawyers could use some of these as example. I mean, I understand it's two different system. Okay, the US and the UK system completely different. But Murdoch is still Murdoch. Okay, using lies in the UK to write nonsense about people to make money, and then in the US lying to influence people. Okay, so the lies remain consistent between these two. Maybe in some shape or form, they'll use some part of that. Okay, he's done told them so many times, I don't fall with you. All right, I have that video and I think, I, okay, I ain't effing with you. All right, the squad put this together and there were, this is from a movie, but the squad put this together where they show uh, squaddies and different uh, royal rats and all of that. Being invited to an event with multiple enemies, these people most, uh, most think they are super villain trying to entrap superheroes. They never win. Okay, if they want to see him so badly, they can't wait and see him in court dismay. That's right. Um, did he decline to respond or did the royal voter say he declined to respond? <laughs> Why will they invite him when he's stating many times he will not have anything to do with those publications? Uh, he hasn't responded to them since he stopped being a working lawyer. Okay, why do they think Harry owes them anything? He's not a working lawyer. Okay, uh, what is this now? Okay, that's a commercial. Okay, I read this. Let's go into it. Okay, the link will be in the description. I hope it's not a pay thing. Okay, Duke of Sussex declined to respond to royal reporting. Okay, let's just do report. reporting. Um, reporting debate invite. Okay, the Duke of Sussex declined to respond to an invite to take part in a debate about the future of royal reporting at a media freedom conference the panel moderator has claimed. I mean, the what is it? We just heard when the court date is due. Why will Harry of all time to go over there and to incriminate himself? They will use words that he said in this particular debate against him in court. I mean, this thing been going on for so long, you think Harry will be ruining it? They must think Harry is stupid. Associate editor at the Telegraph, at the Telegraph, Camilla Tomney opened a discussion at the Society of Editors Media Freedom Conference in London on Wednesday by telling the audience Prince Harry did not respond to a request for participation. And it, they forgot to say that Harry said that he will not associate with these people. Okay? Quote, we did invite Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, to take part in this panel, but he declined to respond. End quote, Miss Tomney said as she opened the panel discussion. I mean, they use the word freedom uh, so vaguely where they, it become abusive or certain people can use that word for freedom. But when the people who really need the word freedom to for what it ex actually mean, they weaponize it. I hope I make sense on that. Okay, before the beginning of the debate, the panel moderator read out a number of quotes from Harry about the media, including that the press had quote gone to bed with the devil and quote and claim well she should read all the context around it okay the leaking and the planting of stories uh we know about that what is it several other 
that video that I just showed you said that they could write anything about um, uh, Harry and Meghan, but leave William and Kate alone. And we have other things. I'll put it instead of me. Um, there's the video. The press and the media. That's and true. as they say at the start That's of true. episode one, they say so many books and shows and stories have been written about us. We wanted to have our own say. And, and remember, the purpose of the PR office at the royal family mm -hmm. is to keep the royals in the press all the time. So you have to remember, when I work in newsrooms, it's a fact that every anti Harry and Meghan story comes from Kensington yeah, Palace. But, but why and if it comes from Kensington Palace, right. why are they? Briefing against their own grandson. Well, uh, okay, that's a very the, the idea. Why are they never? Well, I think that's that's that they could write anything about um, uh, Harry and Meghan, but leave William and Kate alone. And we have other thing. I'll put it instead of me. Um, there's the video. Is that the case? No, absolutely no. not. No, I mean, and 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 if we're to, if we're talking about why this whole, you know, Harry Meghan thing started, it started because. Uh, several years ago, if you if you cast your mind back, the the Queen was and always will be the most popular royal. But second to that was Harry. Harry. It wasn't William and Kate. It yeah. was not William and Kate. And when Harry when when Harry and Meghan became such a popular couple, it put everybody's noses out of joint. The establishment wanted to retain the monarchy as it was, yeah. to boost William and Kate, and the media, the Daily Mail and the Telegraph in particular. Fed those lines. Well, drip, drip, I, I drip, don't. Drip, 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 drip. I agree with everything until you said the last bit. I think. I think that that somebody in the palace decided to take them yes. down a peg or two, and it went too far. Absolutely. But it's all history now, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, not, it's not history because, for instance, if, if you take the media on, as as Dawn will know, if you you never win. If you never win, but the but the media will be always be at war with you, and the Daily Mail it does everything drip 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 poison. Okay. And it's, Daily like, it's not like Harry and Meghan never use the media. Of course, I mean that they, Oprah uh, Winfrey. They, they, if interview. you were in that position, you would fight back too. You would absolutely fight back too. I wouldn't. Okay, quote. Cool. So we know where one member of the royal family stand and quote miss tamney told the conference harry has spoken publicly a number of times about his views on the british media as well as taking legal action against publishers for libel and alleged unlawful information gathering okay at the conference the daily mirror royal editor russell myers defended the media coverage of the duke and duchess of sussex saying when megan first came on to the scene it was quote overwhelmingly positive which was true. During a question and answer session with representative of the British press, Miss Tamley said a question she wanted to ask Prince Philip, the late Duke of Edinburgh, the dead cannot speak, so why even bring him? Was what he thought of Harry and Meghan's interview with Oprah interview, uh, with Oprah Winfrey adding, quote, I'm not sure that will be printable. Did he respond? Did he? Did she ask when he was alive? Okay, the debate also covered covered a number of other controversies, including Jeremy Clarkson heavily criticized column about the Duchess of Sussex. The Sun newspaper apologized and said it deeply regretted the article in which Clarkson, in which Clarkson wrote he had dreamed of Meghan being paraded to British uh, town and publicly shamed. But remember, he uh, apologized to Harry, but not to Meghan. Okay, the panel agreed they will absolutely not defend the column with the royal editor at the Sunday time, Royal Nika, saying the presenter himself had acknowledged he was wrong to write it and okay, had it would not have been printed in the Sunday time. Oh, so that was that? That was that? Okay, so let's go back. So I read it. Let's go to the next one. Next tweet. Okay, still the same thing. I just read that, but different um, comments. Uh, tweet. Duke of Sussex declined to respond to royal reporting debate and invite Ireland live. Okay, I just read the entire thing. Okay, this Camilla the clown as if Harry wants to debate you. All right, so there's that. I read this. Okay, the Duke of Sussex declined to respond to, a, to an invite to take part in the debate about the future of royal reporting at the Media Freedom Conference, the panel moderator has claimed. Okay, um, let's go into, oh, is it a thread? A thread. Okay, let's see here. Associate editor at The Telegraph, Camilla Tamney, opened the discussion at the Associate 
at the Society of Editors Media Freedom Conference in London on Wednesday by telling the audience Prince Harry did not respond to a request for participation. Okay. At the conference, the Daily Mirror's royal editor, Russell Myers, a.k.a. Uh, Russell Myers, defended the media coverage of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, saying, when Meghan first came on the scene, come onto the scene, it was overwhelmingly positive. Yes, it was. So what happened then? Okay, that's not the flex. They think that is. All right. Okay, I'm going into that. That one defense makes no sense. The follow-up question should always be, what did she do to turn the tide and when? Also, what makes her supp support crime, suppose crimes worse that others in the firm are accused of or have done? That is, sue the press. Okay, that's not true. And, uh, and are they saying that later they decided to write negative stories about her? Russell needs to relax. His employer will have his say in court in the next two months. That is true. Okay, I'm feeling like a a hole. We need to frame that statement. There's that. The same tired. Okay, the same tired response. The discussion is useless because they are not willing to look within themselves and honestly discuss where they went wrong. I mean, they know. They all have that thing. Something seemed to black. They know what they did. Okay, they know what they did. But they refuse to acknowledge it. If they keep their objective, you know, hate, 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 hate. But when they know from the get-go to write negative thing about Harry and Meghan, okay, just remove that from their subconscious. Okay. Um, the same tired response, the discussion is useless because they are not willing to look within themselves and honestly discuss where they went wrong. They turn the discussion into another opportunity for propaganda for they and the royal family. It could easily be this probably probably was set up to make the the firm look good in a positive way. Okay, the two branches, the two branches were working together here, the firm and the royal royal what? Okay, working together to make it because lately it's negativity after negativity. But I don't know exactly of everything that was said, but it seems like it's another level of uh, nonsense that was added to the negativity. So the article that said Megan was straight out of Campton with exotic DNA was overwhelmingly positive. Really? Okay, then why? Interpretation of this report or screwed. Okay, the racism was already in the beginning. Harry New Girl is almost straight out of Campton and something like exotic blah, 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 written by Trump look like an ex-prime minister sister. This people keep lying and lying the audacity to invite Harry uh, to this nonsense Harry knows already the thing is that what they need is someone okay outside of the UK who knows what's going on to be the moderator okay you can't have the same people moderate themselves they all are on the same page they know question to avoid and question to ask they need someone who's oh, oh even still let's pick someone the uh, Let's say one of those uh, uh, byline people that I sometimes follow who will uh, ask them real question. Okay? I'm not talking about uh, Omid. Omid could be part of the discussion as well, but he will not be the moderator. Someone who's in byline, for instance. Okay? If you want to keep people in the UK. <clears throat> okay? There's this. Let's go back to the main one. Okay. So I went in this and then went in and went in and went in. Now I'm completely out. Okay, so that's that. At the conference, the Limira, okay, I read that. Let's see this. Harry knows those weasels. They wanted international attention, and the only way to achieve that was saying they invite him, and he declined. Truth is, no one responds to their enemies, and these days, without a lawyer present, the place sweep for hidden cameras and microphones. Yeah, why do you think they did that? The lawsuit that's going to happen. They're trying to uh, get him in any way of any possible way so they could use that against him in court that's all it is okay why will harry sit with fan fiction writers and liars this is just another shit show for from the uk tabloid let all laugh let all laugh at these folks calling themselves journalists they are vodovat every last one of them camilla tamney leads the pack okay quote we had a panel because harry told the truth about how corrupt and unethical we are yeah that's be couple things there's two things that i see here the lawsuit that's coming so they wanted to get him on record saying certain things and then they 
the royal family is been publicly in a ne uh, written in a negative way so they wanted some distraction okay you can't have these people matter with themselves you need someone outside of their circle to ask the question so it was a bunch of clown crying because harry blasted them on the world stage of course he wasn't going to respond to those clowns okay he and megan say they are not going to collaborate or cooperate with the british tabloid so him not responding should have been expected exactly all right that was the best response bravo harry these people harry told them what is wrong with them and his book they know exactly what he said about them he doesn't need to give them his previous time previous time to time to debate them they just need to fix their problems that's it okay who else was invited to the tabloid dogs bucking bowling and squalling kennel show harry and megan both have spoken with real journalists and writers and likely none of them were at the uk tabloid dog kennel show okay there's that why in the world would he want to debate them they have done nothing but attempt to discredit him and destroy his life his wife and his life as well good for him the thing with harry that these tools uh, don't understand is that he makes the call he set the agenda and he chooses where and when he engaged he was never going to go back to play the sick little game that the royal rights british media wanted him to play he is truly free of that vile narrative that is true okay harry and megan have been very specific when they step back as senior working royals they will not deal with the british media tabloid with the royal rat Okay, these are the same people that had exclude, exclusive access to him and what, did, and what did they do? They got cocky and abused it. They were writhing in pain and begging for attention. Now, good for Harry. Okay, they miss him so much. They miss the, gla they miss the glamour, sexy and good look. He and briefly Megan brought to the royal family, public profile, said whatever you want about Harry and Megan. They took every drop of star power with them uh, when they left. That's fine. This is the thing that I'd be saying. When Megan came, okay, one of the squad who who used to follow Megan and had a screenshot of how many followers she has, okay, and now I have a copy of that. She had three million followers. The royal family had at that time before Megan came or right when Megan came, they were into a couple hundred thousand. Okay, million and thousand is not equal okay so when megan went married the, into the royal family she brought that many eyeballs into the royal family and some okay and then when they start doing these things to her she left she took her three millions followers plus some because there's some people who did accept the royal family yeah, for who they are or whatever it is that they represent but once they see their true color their behavior they then stood up for justice or what was right they left along with harry or maybe not even follow harry and megan they just went their separate way they move on they don't need the royal family anymore they don't support them anymore okay so that's that and now there's more people whose eyes are opening i've shared some tweets that i came across where people were not even following megan were not even uh into all of that they bought the spare book and they learned so much and now they understand the situation even more all right they, okay i read this why are they always so desperate and needy when it comes to harry and megan uh kamato begging for attention good he gave them a great big middle finger th that they deserve uh yeah Okay, so they want a very busy man to take a part on a royal debate which include the worst people who bullied, lied, and still harassing him and his wife until now. Either they suffer from madness or they are uh, gaslighting. And not only that, they probably, if Harry had said yes, can you imagine the question we'll be giving to him? Okay, so they could create headlines for years, for years with the, just that little uh, debate. Okay, they wanted to trap him and then on top of it, use some things against him uh, uh, in court. All right, let's see here. It sounds like this debate was simply an uh, excuse to continue slagging off the Sussexes and reassure themselves that their lives are acceptable. It was a wake it was a setup that said it was a setup to beat up on Harry. Why wasn't Megan included since she is the real victim of their hate? That's exactly that. It was a setup okay um let's see here something tells me going to that but let's read it 
uh, have they no shame? Did they really think Harry was going to attend that? They are so embarrassing. So let's go into that. Okay, he'll be participating in a debate in a few months at a trial. <laughs> Okay, what? The other royal grifters declined their invitation. I hope Prince Harry told them the, uh, was it, uh, was it, fuck right off, okay, fuck right off, a uh, bunch of clowns, as if Prince Harry will participate in that crap show. Kamala Tomney is a liar, obsessed is real. They are sick people, people with no self-awareness. This is not normal, something really wrong with the evil island full of blonde crazy yeah they wanted to they were setting him up that's all especially where i don't think um if this is going to trial that's mean there's probably possibilities where they were trying to settle out of court and harry probably did not want to do that because he had enough with these people so he then settled so they're trying to um do a gotcha moment with him okay so I think it was a setup because, uh, what is it? Murder is being sued in the U U.S. as well. Not by million, by billion. You have Dominion and there's another Smartomatic, I think, who's suing um, them. Dominion is in one point something million, but Smartomatic is in two point something million. Okay, next tweet. Okay, same thing, I think. No, it's different. Which means Harry will have turned down all offers of an out-of-court settlement. I know how that goes. I settled with the mirror out of court. You have to have deep pocket not to settle. It's not about the money with Harry. It's about exposing the media. It's going to be on fire. Okay, we're going to be, I'm going to be covering this as much as I can. Okay, so I'm going to read all of the comments. It's very short and then I'll go into that. So she retweeted um, this. Britain's Prince Harry's lawsuit against the publisher of the Daily Mirror newspaper over allegation of phone hacking will go to trial in May. A judge at London High Court will. Okay, there's that. Hope it casts a huge shadow over the weekend of the mega party that will pay, that will uh, will pay for, but not, but not won't get, okay, but not won't get invited, okay, okay, because it's in May, uh, yes, okay, our ginger avenger won't give up, he said it was a fight of his life, sis, glad to know you fought against them, even though you settled down afterward, too many people give up, it allows them to have too much power, thank goodness, heavy is, is taking it all the way, no matter what, okay you bet baby he is taking the press to the cleaners exactly true i wish him good luck we need to pray for him okay go on harry also for his mama diana i think so too that alone that's this one guy i for some reason i'm seeing an image of him being in france during that time i don't know he's looking in his I don't know there's an image i'm seeing but anyway his wife and kids and also for the uh, average people who constantly being terrorized by the media and the lies misinformation and defamation disinformation period it was never about the money it was always about exposing them it's why the media have been trying to destroy him and will carry on until the trial the media uh, are scared the truth will come out on how they get information on the stories that are in our papers get them harry and I, I said a long time ago at some point the uk people is gonna be fed up with the royal family and all those even some elected officials at some point they're gonna ask for harry because this is the only person prominent person they will um they respect next tweet okay harry and megan Quote, thick as thieves, we will be over the moon, jumping up and down, you know, so excited for me. But then, as I said, uh, we'll have probably been best friend with Megan. Okay, and quote Prince Harry on Diana. Okay, uh, a minute and 44 seconds. Uh... Okay, there's a music, okay? I'm just gonna go over it really quick. Is it still music? Yeah, the whole thing is music. Okay. It's just music. Okay, so that's it. Let's read some of the comments. Okay, uh, so beautifully done. Thank you. The royal family took a beautiful gift and tried to smash it to smithering, but still the gift rises. Harry and Meghan are thriving. That's a GIF. There's a thumbs up. Love it. Okay, I believe Diana sent her to him. This, I, what? 
I truly believe. Okay? I believe Diana sent her to him. He was lost and unhappy for a long time. I hope he always cherished her because she is amazing human that has sacrificed a lot to be with him. That is true. That's me who put this here. And they went to poke the bear. I thought I shared this video again, the illusion. All right, there's that, two comments in there. There's me, awesome, thank you, sharing. them. you read my mind because I felt the same way, the same for real, okay? Yep, there's that here. Let's see here, 100%, I don't see it, thieves, 100%, okay, oh no, she wouldn't. Well, it, they did exactly what they did to Diana, to Megan, if not worse, adding the racism and all of that. And with our prayers, we're going to keep on praying to protect her. And you have the other brother who's saying um, his mother will be upset. There's a lot of homelessness. But what William is doing to help homelessness? Not much. Okay, Prince Harry truly the, is the king of Prince that every little girl imagine meeting and marrying. Meghan is truly blessed to have the love and adoration of such a wonderful man, just as he's blessed to have a beautiful, strong, intelligent woman like Meghan Markle. <laughs> this thing, it comes with a lot of work. Because when I read certain things, even myself, there's no way I'll be putting up with all this nonsense. Okay? Because this is the thing. When they were dating, before everybody else knew they were seeing each other, before their family, um, well, some of Megan's knew, Megan's friends knew, but they, you know, these are true friends. But the royal family, they always want to one up another. Uh, they like to create, they like to see people in pain. Okay, so Harry kept it a secret because he knew his family, they will, um, they will mess it up for him. So during that time, while they were seeing each other, guess what? They got to know each other on a deeper level. Okay, so all previous women that Harry had dated, and uh, no disrespect to them, and it was an eye-opener leading to know once he meets Megan, how to behave accordingly. That's what I think. Okay, and I'm, this is something I have to give prop for, to Harry, showing respect to all of his exes. And I think that's very respectful of him because, you know, they were dating just like anybody else, just things did not work out. And I think many of them could have gone further, but the intrusion, I guess uh, the universe was working its way for them because um knowing how savage the tabloid is they will not be strong enough to fight them just like megan is doing with harry right now so in a way it was a way to strengthen harry until he meets megan do i make sense and prop to harry for showing respect throughout okay of his exes because they didn't deserve that just put yourself in anybody's shoes all right anyway let me leave that uh, alone gold diggers oh <laughs> this one must be crazy because megan was a millionaire coming and let's see the response to that okay your mother had no choice she forgot to swallow oh my god you read this <laughs> let me leave that alone this is my last one and i'm gonna do a prayer okay i've been recording for like two hours now two and a half hours all right let's see here this is a TikTok video this I have never come across anybody that cut their parents out of their life because they forgot to give them pocket money. I never met anybody that cut a parent out of their life because they were trying their best and sometimes they messed up. Maybe they exist, I've never met them. I have met people who have spent their whole lives abandoning themselves to try and love their parents no matter what. To try and make some kind of relationship, even if it's built on a shoestring that they have to provide. They've tried their best. In the end, they have the only, the only option that they have is to cut the string and to put themselves first to give themselves any opportunity in life and then they exist in a world that wants to tell them that they're wrong and that they should make all of the effort continue to make all of the effort to try and keep this shoestring relationship that they've managed to build and <laughs> that's uh, something harry should listen i mean he've tried he've tried he've tried he wanted the family aspect out of his family but uh they want him to go back to the same uh toxic environment he's like i only want the family aspect of it and he's been selling them even when he was a working warrior but they don't want to accept that but uh anyway but let's finish listen 
that all of the onus should have been on them. It's wrong, it's bad, it's horrible, it's victim blaming, and you wouldn't see it in any other form of abuse. No other form of abuse would you tell the victim of abuse that they have a responsibility to try and keep that relationship going. Wow, that's very deep. There's this, felt it, I say it again, tell it. All right, there's that. Um, that's true of a lot of relationship, not only the parent-child type, sooner or later you have to cut toxic people out of your life. You'll never function properly until you do. Okay, I have seen this in many families, including some of my relations. Bravo to the Sussexes for their courage. OMG, sibling too, okay, and cousins. Mm, perfectly said. All right, he's so right though. All of this, exactly. This is a great video. It's uh, it's the truth exactly. There's the club, bravo. Okay, so a lot. Of, okay, I can't. Okay, I can testify to this from my own experience. The truth is that you can never cut yourself free from toxic parents, even after you you've cut off the relationship themselves. The healing takes uh, forever and is an ongoing process. There's this. He's right. Unfortunately, as true as this is, royalists refuse to believe the family is anything less than perfect. As obvious as their fa um, frailty is, the fairy tale must live on. Hmm. There's that. Except maybe for the abuse Harry is getting for marrying, for marrying a mixed race woman and putting limits on his family relationship because uh, they endangered his family. Everything else is 100% yawn. Okay. You don't want to listen to a reality. Okay. So let's do a prayer. This is the prayer that I did last. Prayer for eternal happiness i don't know this is what comes to me i don't know why okay dear lord i pray that you bless me with true happiness and peace in life lead me away from hate and anger toward love from restless mind and anxiety give me peace and lead me from fear of death to eternal life okay let's see if i could pick something here why my eyes went into this oh god i would love to read this but i don't like the text okay, okay let's pick something else okay let's let's do this a prayer for joy lord jesus every good gift is given to us by your hand though we are filled with vanity you alone can take credit for the good that happens in the world therefore magnify yourself and our lives bring to silence those who condemn us for our sins and turn our eyes upon you holy cross give us the joy only you can grant O oh god and give us a willing spirit to pursue truth and goodness in our lives hear my prayer oh jesus amen i was gonna do another prayer but this line got me so i'm gonna stick to that there's this one oh god and give us a willing spirit to pursue truth this part only this is what get me to pursue truth. All right? So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. So this video is going to be separated and I'm going to divide it into two because it's an hour and 32 minutes. Maybe every 45 minutes, I'll uh, cut it. Okay? So that's it. <laughs>
you know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. decisions that I ever made. You will be continually amazed how life changes for the better.